Hi everyone, uh, in this video I wanted to show you how to adjust the float switch that comes uh, attached to the pump. Um, the float switch is obviously what makes this uh, pump uh, and the system altogether a little bit uh, less labor intensive and more automatic. So I um, wanted to show you how to adjust that. Um, depending on your tank size or tank shape, uh, you might want the water level to rise and drop to different levels before it switches on and off. Um, so I've seen people use a wheelie bin uh, if they have the, the height elevation from their drain to drain the water into a wheelie bin which is obviously much bigger than this but much higher as well and then you'd want the float switch to only come on when the water is much higher. Um, but as it is at the moment, uh, I've set this uh, float switch to work for this tank. And the float switch is really simple, it's as the name implies. This is a float, um, this floats on top of the water, so as the water level rises, this, the angle of this switch uh, or this uh, float changes, and there's a switch inside which basically um, switches the pump on. And then when it drops again, the angle goes down and there's a switch that switches it off. You might be able to hear, as I lift this up, there's a, a small clicking sound and then you'll see the pump come on. So you can see the, the, the top of the float switch is more or less at the top of the tank here um, and the pump is switched on. And then as the water level drops again, um, it switches off. Now you can adjust this by adjusting the length of this tether um, and the longer the tether is, the higher the water has to go before it pushes the float switch to the angle at which the switch switches on. You can see at that length of the tether, you need a much higher level of water to push the tether to that angle. And similarly on the, on the downside as well, it can drop lower when the tether is longer. Um, but for this tank, um, this, this kind of level is, is the, what I found works quite well. You'd obviously have to just play around with this a bit, but you can sort of gauge it with your eye and say, you know, when the water comes to this level, it's going to switch on. And then once the water is at this level, you can just adjust this, the length of this tether a little bit like that to make it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, uh, depending on, like I say, your needs. Now, one of the challenges um, with all the pumps that I've seen on the market is that they're not really designed for grey water systems, they're designed for other uses and we've kind of rep repurposed them for grey water recycling uh, systems. Um, and so the, the on switches, there's no problem with that, you can adjust the level uh, quite a lot in terms of where it switches on so that it switches on as your water gets close to the top. However on the on the on the on the other end um, you can see this switch is actually switched off now and there's a fair bit of water in there at the moment. Um, you can see there's about that much water left at the bottom of the tank and the, the float switch has switched off already. Now one of the rules, uh, one of the sort of guidelines and principles of grey water uh, recycling is that you shouldn't store the water for more than 24 hours, um, or you should use it within 24 hours. And that's just because there's, there can be bacteria build up and then can become a health hazard um, and you might also develop some unpleasant smells. Now, one way to just override that, well, override the pump and empty the tank once a day is just to to force it on um, and then hold the tether or put the tether there um, so that it stays on until the, the tank is completely empty but don't let your pump pump when there's no water in because the, the, the pump will basically burn out and you'll have to buy a new pump um, so you have to watch it when you're doing this so during the day, you have it on the tether system that switches on and off, sort of at those levels. And then once a day, at the end of the day or every morning, you just come and you, you switch it on and you make sure everything uh, comes out. All the way. So in the next video, I'll show you how to 
how one can actually uh, make quite a minor adjustment and it's a very simple solution to uh, make this float switch stay on for a bit longer so that all the water is emptied uh, before it switches off um, and that will be the best solution for grey water systems. However, some people might not have an issue with it, um, they'll, they'll just uh, want to use it as, as it operates like this, to switch on over there and to switch off when the water is about uh, halfway or three quarters down. Um, and then every now and again just force it on and, and pump all the water out. But uh, I'll show you in the next video the solution that I've come up with to, to be able to override that.